Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! And in this one we're going to be taking a close look at the newly released and very anticipated Buffalo EVX. As always we're going to be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it modifies and customizes at the Los Santos car meet place. And finally I'm going to be telling you if this 2.14 million dollar vehicle electric muscle car is worth it or not. And with that out of the way let's start with the 360 on the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First and foremost, this is based on the Dodge Daytona, which is the first fully electric Dodge, well, let's call it Challenger, that's going to be released, I believe, in two years' time. In-game, this vehicle is going to cost you $2.14 million, which is pretty expensive, and even though it's a muscle car, it can be found on the Legendary Motorsports website. As for interactivity, this is what you can expect from it. You can open, wait for it, both doors, the hood and the trunk, which in this case, the hood is empty, so it has a frunk, both doors are, ooh, that's a really cool logo over there, the bull. And uh, yeah, it has a trunk, because as I mentioned in the beginning, it's electric. Really interesting vehicle, it's the first muscle car in GTO line that is electric. So I'm really curious to see how it does wheelies, if it's gonna flip over, and the such. In any case, let's just close everything back down and uh, just admire the exterior of the vehicle. Really cool, and I really like this part of the vehicle, where it has these things so kind of makes it looks very sporty in any case there's the exterior of the vehicle done now let's jump in and look at how the car looks on the inside and uh, honestly it leaves a little bit to be desired uh, it looks like a 2010 vehicle uh, aside from the little electric thing on the right hand side of the gauges the way the vehicle sounds is well it doesn't make any sounds because it's fully electric which is very interesting as I, as I said before now, for the moment of truth, let's see what type of wheelie we can do with it. Okay, we cannot. Nope, it can do wheelie in its stock form. As for the drivetrain, it's uh, an all-wheel drive car. Interesting. I don't know if the Dodge Daytona is going to be an all-wheel drive vehicle, but uh, really interesting this one. This is, I believe, the first muscle car in GT Online that's all-wheel drive. Very interesting choice. Hmm, also kind of weird. In any case, we are going to be making our way to... Whoa! We're going to be making our way first and foremost to the agency and then to the Los Santos car meet to fully customize and modify this bad boy. And on our way there, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of it. Now, first and foremost, my favorite HSW vehicle at the moment is the Vigoro ZX. It's also a muscle car, but that is a rear-wheel drive car. I'm really curious to see if this one can dethrone that, because, uh, yeah, this one has a lot of potential, but so far I am not seeing it utilized. The turning radius is honestly horrible. The way the vehicle just picks up speed, the initial pickup of speed is really good, but then it just, I don't know, it leaves a lot to be desired. I've seen a lot better vehicles that are much cheaper, to be honest, but hey, this is just the stock version of the vehicle. Maybe I'm just being... A little unrealistic with what we can expect from a stock vehicle. In any case, let's jump into the agency and see what... Whoa! Okay. And see what we can modify because this is a vehicle that can be modified in the agency as well. Now here we are in the agency and we can fully armor the vehicle. We can put armor plating on it, which is something that we saw in the trailer for... Uh, the game, which is actually something that I'm going to be doing. It's actually the only thing that I'm going to be doing here. But uh, just to go over the Amani tech as well, we have remote control unit and missile lock-on jammer. Which both are pretty useful in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing those. And uh, yeah, those are the only things that we can do here that we can't do at the Los Santos car meet. So let's just bounce from here and go to the Los Santos car meet and modify the vehicle there. And as I said in the beginning, on our way there, I am going to be sharing with you the rest of my thoughts of how the vehicle performs in its current stock form. And uh, yeah, it leaves a lot to be desired. I am kind of on the fence at this point. This is a $2.2 million car, almost. the I believe the most expensive muscle car at the moment. Maybe the Vigoro ZX is just a little bit more expensive, but uh, yeah. I'm not really blown away by the performance of it, let's just put it that way. It it turns very weirdly, it's probably because it's an all-wheel drive car and it has this sort of weird electric feel to it. 
I don't know. It, it just feels wrong. If, if this is an indicator to what's to come from Dodge, woof, I'm not expecting that car. But hey, maybe the HSW upgrade is going to make it worthwhile. And I'm really curious, by the way, to see how much that's going to cost. Because usually those things are pretty expensive. And here we are. And as said before, this vehicle is a muscle car, even though it's fully electric. I know, we're living in crazy times. Now let's just go ahead and upgrade the vehicle to its, to its HSW performance upgraded version. Wow, $1.5 million. Totally worth it. And uh, first thing I'm noticing, top speed is maxed out. Acceleration looks pretty decent. And this is even before us going over and uh, continuing to further modify the vehicle. Really, really impressive. So we don't have a turbo and an engine thing. Interesting. One thing that I want to mention here is, that, don't call me stupid in the comments, we have turbo and uh, engine upgrades for other vehicles that don't fit the criteria of them, so... Yeah, maybe we, we could have had, like, motor, or, like, an extra motor or something. Just give us a little bit more in terms of performance upgrades. Nah, in any case, let's go with, uh, oh, wow, that's it. Wow, that's a big difference. What's the difference between this one and this one? I legitimately am not seeing any difference between those two. Maybe just a little bit from, from how the paint reflects, if you can see on the top of the fender. Wow, that's lazy. Oh, the, the, oh, I get it. The, the bolts. The bolts are the difference. Wow, that's lazy. Front bumper. Here are all the front bumper options. And just like Rockstar's MO for the last, I don't know, three and a half years. Uh, those are not bumpers, guys. Those are uh, splitters. Those are, um, yeah, yeah, those are not bumpers. Kind of disappointed. Kind of disappointed. Let's go with this one and go with the... Yeah. Of course, That's we're going to have diffusers. About. Those are not bumpers, once again. Those are diffusers. Uh, and I'm not liking any of those. Okay, so far, the customization is a bust. Let's see now. Can we do something cool with the hood? No, we cannot. Although this one looks kind of good. Yeah, I'm going to go with the buffalo hood. Leveries. Here are all the leveries we can choose from for this vehicle. This one looks very retro. Kind of reminds me of a 1960-something Dodge charger let's see now we have also other cool leveries here but uh yeah those uh last three or actually the last two has to be mentioned are uh, only available if your vehicle is hsw upgraded which this one is as you saw now let's see let's go with the classic stripes even though i hate paying for leveries especially that much money i really like the stripes louvers i don't think like they fit the vehicle so i'm gonna be going with none of those let's see we can modify the mirrors wow those are lazy let's see now mode what okay remember how i complained that we don't have for example a motor upgrade this is what i was talking about okay i completely completely disregard that rant Okay, so we can have the HSW Race Plus mode. This is the first time I'm seeing this on a vehicle. And, uh... Yeah, about time, Rockstar. Thank you. We've had so many... Um, electric vehicles that don't have this. Go with yellow and black on the license plate. Roll cage! And that completely changes the seat operation and situation. But, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be going with that. Roof! I'm assuming we can, uh, yeah, we can recolor the roof and we can put a nice roof scoop on it. In most cases, yep, yep, most likely, yeah, there it is, there it is. We can put a BMW fin on it, and uh, yeah, you know what? I kind of prefer the stock roof. Side skirts. Here are all the side skirts we can choose from, and I gotta say, we have a plethora. Of, uh, at first glance, you might think, wow, we have thir 13 different ones, but they all kind of look the same, and uh, most of them are just rehashes of, for example, this one, this one, and this one is, is kind of the same thing. Let's see, this one looks very retro. Now let's see the other spoilers. <laughs> okay, I think I want to go with the minimalistic one, because I like small things. Let's see now, we can slam the vehicle to the ground, like literally to the ground. To the point where it's almost... Eh. 
I think I want to go with the HSW suspension. Yeah, why not? The wheels, I actually love. So I'm not going to be touching those. And I believe those are the. this is the only vehicle that, that has these wheels. Those are not available to purchase. But uh, yeah, really cool wheels. Window tint. Yeah, why not? Go with the light smoke. And it's time to respray the vehicle. And for that, we're going to go to the respray option and choose a primary color. Now, let's see. The Dodge, I'm trying to remember if they they showed it off red in their ooh, this looks good in their uh, uh the dodge daytona showcase i'm gonna go with red secondary color let's go with something matte maybe cool we don't have a secondary color how appropriate trim color let's make sure the Amy carpet said. matches the drapes me, as much I mean, as possible Diamond blue kind of looks like white, but yes, now let's go with white. So everything kind of flows together. Because at the end of the day, I want this vehicle to be good looking. I really hope this is good looking at the end. And I really hope I can keep it. Crew emblem on the front of the hood. Actually doesn't look half bad. And with that, off to the streets. Uh, actually, I forgot that we are at the HSW place. So this means that we're off to the garage. And now we need to go to vehicle options and we can go off to the streets. And here we are. And it's midday already. And ooh, yep, yep. Acceleration is definitely picked up. The handling though is still weird. I just want to see if this is going to be an all-wheel drive car just like before. Yes, 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 it is. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, just don't tell me that I'm stupid. At least not again. Um, I believe this is the only and of course the first hsw vehicle that is all-wheel drive again every other vehicle that i've seen from here and every other vehicle that i've tested that has the hsw upgrade is rear wheel drive which is not a problem because those vehicles are really fun but this feels almost like tankish it feels very weird to drive around with this thing it feels heavy that's probably the best way i can describe it it feels heavy as you can see I'm just flicking the left analog stick left and right and the vehicle just barely does anything. And if this was any other, for example, sports car, it would be jumping left and right. And I know it's a muscle car, I know it's supposed to behave differently, but it, is it really a muscle car when it's all-wheel drive? Is it really? Now let's see, if it can do a wheelie, it's a muscle car. Okay, it's a muscle car then. <laughs> okay, that was a big wheelie. Let's see now. Let's try it again. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to uh, get used to the power there. But yeah, this... Uh, wow, this is a weird one. It uh, it wants to be a muscle car so bad by the way it looks. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't behave like one. There is no other muscle car in recent memory that I can think of that has all-wheel drive. Except for the... Dodge Challenger GT, but uh, yeah, nobody seems to acknowledge that as a muscle car. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think? Can an all-wheel drive car be a quote-unquote muscle car? This one is really weird for me to decide if I if I like it or not. Do I like it as a muscle car? No, definitely not. Stay away if you're looking for a true muscle car. This is just not it. It doesn't feel like it. It only has the visual component of the muscle car. Uh, it doesn't even have a sound which honestly is really weird and it's gonna be really weird in real life when you see like a big dodge that has that basically goes <laughs> when it passes you by on the highway it's really weird we're living in really weird times but i'm trying to decide if i like this or not and honestly i have to be honest with myself i don't it just doesn't feel like a muscle car it doesn't feel like it's supposed to you know by the look of it you're you're thinking wow this is gonna be awesome and when you drive it you're like well it's fine the top speed is great the acceleration is really good after fully modifying it at the hsw place the traction is eh, it's decent i mean it's all wheel drive so it picks up quickly the handling is honestly the worst part of the vehicle the brakes are well surprisingly bad but that's to be expected. This, I'm assuming, is a very heavy vehicle. So, yeah. Do I like this one? 
Yeah, I like looking at it. Am I gonna be keeping it? No, no. The uh, Vigoro ZX is still in my favorite spot for a, the HSW vehicle. And if you don't know, just to give you a little heads up, you need to have an HSW vehicle in order to participate in the HSW time trials. Those give you $250,000 every single time you complete them. So it's kind of a good investment. But uh, yeah, don't invest in this one. In any case, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the uh, Buffalo EVX. Then I'll catch you all in the next one.